In this video, we're going to have a look at the best amateur radio handhelds that you can get on Amazon in 2025. All of the radios that I feature on this video are on amazon.com. They may vary in availability on other regionalized Amazon sites, so just keep that in mind. There are also links to all of these radios in the description below. So first cab off the rank is the Baofeng GT5R. Many of you would be familiar with this radio. This is the classically looking UV5R radio. This is a slight variation from Baofeng that is sold. Uh, the GT5R is a completely clean spurious emission radio. Uh, it's still got the look and feel of the old UV5R, the classic, but for $23, it is a great uh, handheld radio for beginners to get started with. Now this radio is a two meter and 70 centimeter radio. It will do 144 to 148 megahertz and 420 to 450 megahertz, the two amateur radio bands. There are many different sort of versions of this radio. So the UV5Rs come in various different uh, Mark II, uh, three versions, sometimes they come completely in a different package altogether or with a different model name but the gt5 you can or the gt5r you can be completely confident that you're getting a good quality radio it comes with all of the same features you can program it in chirp it'll do five watts output power uh, you've got your desktop charger um, you've also got an earpiece and everything else that you need to get started so it's a great radio to get started with for a beginner and at a really good price. Following on with that, a little bit more expensive, but this is the Quanchang UVK6 or UVK5 version 8, depending on which way you look at it. They're both the same radio. This radio came out a couple of years ago and it caused a little bit of a disturbance in the um, ham radio handheld community because all of a sudden we had a handheld radio that we could load our own custom firmware on, we could modify bits and pieces of the code of the radio, get it to do things that it would not normally do. Uh, I've done quite a few videos over the last couple of years on this radio and a lot of people have been very, very pleased with the quality of this radio. It sounds really good, it's got good audio, it is a clean radio as well. This one is $31 currently at the moment so um, open source hackable there's lots and lots of different software that you can run on this i'm not quite sure that when they actually developed this radio that they expected it to be um, quite as popular as what it was it came with a particular chipset that was um, able to be used to yeah, load your open source code on it and do all sorts of different things um, usb-c charging as well um, it does the radio replication so you can actually program a whole bunch of channels into one radio then you can wirelessly transmit it to the other one so you've got a copy of that if you need that on the fly um, you can program this in chirp there's a whole bunch of things that you can do with this radio um, now not only the uvk6 but obviously the original uvk5 these two radios are pretty much basically the same thing they just look a little bit different the uvk6 uh, usually comes with an orange screen like this a slightly different front face silver sort of display around oh, silver cover around the display there a little bit more of a better feel radio uh, but then you've also got the original uvk5 which is again it's essentially the same radio so a little bit cheaper a few dollars cheaper 28 dollars the quanchang um, is a great buy and uh, i did a video or several different videos, playlist of videos, and I'll link them at the end of this uh, video if you want to view more about that particular radio. Now this is the Baofeng UV5RM. This is kind of like an upgraded version of a UV5R. It's a little bit bigger, but it is a 10 watt handheld radio, similar type of features and similar type of layout to the uh, original Baofeng. You can see there that on the screen, there's a nice color blue um, and white text screen. Uh, I've done a review on this particular radio uh, not that long ago. I really like this radio. It sounds really good. Um, it's got a good feel in it. There we go. I'm actually <laughs> there featured here on Amazon showing off uh, the radios. The Baofeng 5RM has uh, very similar features to the Quanchang. They sort of got some of those features like that air frequency copy, um, air band. 
You can also listen to FM on it, um, USB-C charging as well. It's got the NOAA weather receiver in it too. You can program it up using Chirp. Here's some comparisons between the two radios. So the original UV5R has a limited amount of channels. There's way more channels, 999 in the 5RM, larger battery, wider frequency coverage, and all of these extra features as well, which are great for a beginner too. The, mon the one thing that is common amongst all of these newer radios that have come out is the fact that they've got USB-C charging which is really good if you're out and about and um, pretty much you can charge it with your power bank or with your within your car so um, this particular one here is a two-pack and it comes with uh, two radios two little smaller stubby antennas which are not really that good but it does come with them uh, two earpieces two uh, handheld external microphones it comes with a programming cable for chirp it comes here with two batteries two chargers and four antennas so two shorter medium length antennas and two longer abri antennas so you get all of those two pack of radios for 53 dollars so there is a lot of value in this particular model and in this particular deal that i found um, on amazon now shifting sideways a little bit for those that want to upgrade to a more premium handheld radio, you should be looking at something like a Yaesu or an Icom or a Kenwood radio. Sometimes though they can reach up to several hundred dollars, especially for the ones with all of the features packed into them such as digital, APRS, GPS, Bluetooth, all of those sort of features. But if you just want sort of a basic radio but something that's very, very high quality and a premium radio, you want to look at something like this. This is the Yaesu FT65R. Again, it's a 2 meter and 70 centimeter radio, like all of the previous ones that we've discussed. But it is a rugged uh, radio, it comes with a three year warranty, five watts, and you're going to get a quality unit, uh, quality Yaesu unit at a reasonably budget price of $135. That's not too bad, it's not too expensive, but you're still getting the premium features of the Yaesu radio. Now it doesn't come with all of the features that some of these Chinese radios are coming out with, so it doesn't come with USB-C, it doesn't come with the over-the-air frequency copying. Uh, I'm unaware of it having airband in it or all of these other things, the wider frequency range um, in them. I think, yeah, if you need to copy from one radio to another, you need a cloning cable. But still, because it's a couple of years old, that's why it doesn't really have those features in it. But still, you get uh, quite a lot in it, a 2.5 amp hour, 2500 milliamp hour battery, 5 watts, lots of operating time, um, rugged IP54 um, water dust resistant protection in this radio. So it's a good alternative if you don't want one of the cheaper Chinese radios. Continuing on with the theme of premium handheld radios, I wanted to throw this one in. This is the Waxon KGQ10H. Uh, I've had this radio and actually sold it recently because I have another radio which actually does everything that this does, but I actually love this radio. I was using it all around my house all the time. It was my everyday radio. This is a quad band radio. It will do six meters, it will do two meters, it will do 220, 1.25 meters in the US, or it will do 70 centimeters. So you actually get four bands in one. It is uh, IP67, yes, IP67 dust and waterproof. So you can actually dunk it and it will still work. It's protected for that. It's got USB-C charging. Um, you can program it using Chirp. It's got the NOAA weather frequencies with alerts. It's got a wide receive range. It will do airband as well. Um, it will do other advanced features as well. I think it will do some uh, GPS locator data display. I don't think it's got a GPS in it. Somehow it gets the GPS. I can't remember now because I never really used that feature. Um, 3 amp hour, 3000 milliamp hour battery in that. The audio sounds really awesome in this too. It's got um, a great microphone and a great speaker. And I did a review on this radio on the channel uh, a couple of years ago now. So it's uh, you know reasonably, reasonably uh, old. So there's a few of them out there, but they get very high ratings and they're a great radio. So the Wox on KG Q10H, is definitely a little bit more expensive at $220, but you're getting those four bands in one and you're getting it a premium radio at a um, pretty good price. You know, you kind of, it's hard to find these radios that might have all of the bands in, especially if you want to operate on six meters or even 220 megahertz, a decent radio like this is what you'll be looking for. And finally, my 
personal favourite radio. This is the TID Radio TDH3. This radio, I think, is a balance between getting something that has premium amount of features for beginners, but then also being able to um, have a radio that's also at a budget-friendly price. So the TDH3 I'm a big fan of. This radio came from uh, TID Radio a couple of years ago. When you use it, it is uh, it very much feels like a premium radio, um, despite it being you know a cheaper cheaper Chinese radio. But it's got all sorts of different features and things in it. You can um, program it uh, using Chirp. You can also program it over Bluetooth. So TID Radio sell a little Bluetooth dongle that will um, plug into the side of the radio and also interface with your phone and the software. So you can actually program it that way too. It will do airband reception. Uh, USB-C programming and charging, so you don't need a separate Baofeng programming cable. You can literally just plug a USB-C cable in the side of the radio, program it up, and you're good to go. Um, it will do uh, NOAA weather channels, um, 2,500 milliamp hour, 2.5 amp hour battery. For $40, it is a great buy. This particular buy comes with two batteries, comes with the desktop charger. Comes with two antennas as well. It looks like it's got airband antenna. I'm not quite sure which one that is, but you can receive airband on this. You can buy these in a uh, single pack or a two pack for um, $80. So you get quite a bit of value out of the TID Radio TDH, TDH3. I'm a real fan of this. The only difference with this one being is, is that it's two meters and 70 centimeters. They're the two bands that you can transmit on that you can use. It's got wideband receive reception as well. So you can receive from 108 to 136 megahertz. You can also receive 50 to 76 megahertz, uh, 76 to 108 megahertz. UHF, quite a wide frequency range there too, but you can only transmit obviously on the um, amateur bands. So those are my ham radio handheld picks. Let me know if I've missed one or if there's a particular model that you enjoy the best that you're using at home. Let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see some of the reviews on all of these radios that I've featured in this video, then there'll be a list of videos that will appear over here where I go into more detail.